Hey everyone, I'm Jared Abergina. This is Josh Dislin and Patrick Morgan. And we're here at Academy Train to talk about the limb park. Uh, today we're gonna be going over basically work positioning and, 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 limb, and limb walks. Uh, as you can see these two, we're gonna be working on a number of things. And we'll go ahead and get moving here and we'll show you. Uh, as you see these two guys move out, we're gonna stay constantly, constantly leaning in and having our main tying point engaged throughout our limb walk. Um, a lot of this is about balance and hitch control. So as you can see, as we're moving through, taking nice big long crossover steps, very smooth out to our work positioning uh, area. And as Josh is here, we're gonna get set up and Patrick in the background as well. We're really looking at getting our work positioning lanyard into a nice V. Okay, and when we get into that V, it's really going to help us out and, and keep us uh, nice and tight to our work, our work zone and reduce that swing potential. Okay, so as you can see now, both of these guys, Patrick and Josh, both have their lanyards on the left side of the body, keeping their cutting tools on their power side, on their dominant hand. So as you can see, he's going to make his cut here. And, we're, and now that we're able to put our saw away, it's waste, uh, less wasted motion. At the same time, we don't have to cross our body with our cutting tools every time we need to make a cut, okay? At the same time here, Josh is gonna go ahead and take his chainsaw and we're gonna, we're gonna perform a leg lock, all right? We're not gonna drop start this saw. We got a leg lock against the trunk or within our, within our two legs. Uh, good ergonomics and we're gonna start our saw, perform our cut with two hands. And at the same time now, Josh got, really got himself in a good position to be able to make that cut and stow his saw very quick uh, and safely back to his harness, okay? Same time we look over here, Patrick has now turned his system, his climbing system, uh, at a really good angle. We're probably about 45 degrees. Uh, and he took his, his work positioning lanyard and he singled it out back to his bridge. What this did for him, it just created a lot more working space underneath of him, okay? So if he has a lot of limbs to cut be beneath him or within the interior of his body, he's able to get there when keeping his lanyard and his climbing system well away from those areas. At the same time, you can see how much mobility uh, Patrick has while working in a system like this, in this nice V system, because it's back to his main bridge. So very good technique, Pat. All right, as we're gonna keep moving here, Josh is gonna go ahead and perform this, the crux of our limb park. Uh, and he's gonna go ahead and move up and around, or down and around, I'm sorry, to uh, the hump of our limb park. So when we get here, this is a, a tough place to be. Naturally, what happens is when we get to areas like this, we wanna stand up on the limb and use our own balance. That's the last thing we wanna do. We wanna use our tying point as, a, as, a, as a, uh, a crutch for us to make it through these. So he's bypassing this right now by stepping over it and still staying tensioned on his climbing system. It's a really good job, a really good way to get over these, these, these funky areas of the limbs throughout his climb, okay? Good job, Josh. Patrick on the other hand down here, he just moved into the other portion to make his cut. Uh, Patrick now is, is in a position, work position from hip to hip. Really good position, it's still in a V. If he were to take a spill, he's not going very far. At the same time, he's kind of limited to uh, how much range of motion that he has throughout this, uh, this position here, but still it's enough for what he needs to do. So now that Pat's done, as he moves in, you're gonna see that Pat, like Josh did, is gonna stay taut in the system. We're constantly trying to make these movements and take our slack as we come in off our limb box. We never wanna to get to the point where we're moving in towards uh, our tie-in point and we have big, large uh, bellies of, of slack in our rope, okay? So that's a key portion to moving in and out of our limb box. Great job, you guys, we appreciate the help. Uh, we thank you for having you guys here. I hope you guys come back for more. Come visit us at academy-train.com and hope to see you soon.